big stretch. <sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to Cycle Exchange YouTube. And today we're gonna to be having a look at if it's worth buying a Trek Methone second hand in 2024. So we've uh, chosen this Madone, uh, it's a really nice looking one, we've got this like beautiful blue and black paint job, looks really sexy and I think the Madone is one of our most popular bikes here at Cycle Exchange simply because it is a super aero race focused bike but it is really really user friendly in the sense that you've got an adjustable cockpit up the front here which makes it easy to dial in your position and make it comfortable for you. Standard stem you can swap out with whatever brand, whatever style that you want. Same with the bars, just a standard clamp that you can swap out and make it yours and get that perfect fit for you. Um, personally, I'll probably go some narrow bars but that's just myself. Um, the other thing that's really nice about this particular model that we've got here in front of us is that the previous owner has put in this little Bluetooth um, connector for your DR2 and what that means is you can hook this up to your Garmin, your Wahoo, your Kuru, whatever system that you're using, get all your data from your DR2 up on your head unit and you can also hook it up to your phone if you want to delve into being a real like geeky and really getting into it, you can change what your buttons are doing in your DR2, really get into that, throw all your updates in there. It just means you get that level of personalization and that's coming stock out the box on this bike, which doesn't normally. So one of the other things that's unique about the Trek Madone is that you've got Trek's ISO speed system that sits here and it's a little decoupler that sits underneath these covers and what it does is it just smooths out the road quite a bit. So whilst this is an aero race bike, you're getting quite a bit of comfort through the saddle from that. And it's quite unique compared to other aero bikes. And some people say it takes a little bit to get used to, but for me, it just makes the bike super comfy straight away. Some of the other things that we've got in this bike is we've got this really nice set of Bontrager Aeolus Pro 5 carbon wheels. Um, they do come stock in this particular build. They're really good because on these, they've got DT Swiss internals on the hubs, which makes them super easy to service. They've actually got a really good seal and most shops keep all the parts and spares for these. So if you ever run into problems, quick fix always in stock. So on this Madone, beautiful race bike. We've spoken about some of the like highlights, um, but is this bike still relevant in 2024? It's obviously a little bit older now. This is the Gen 6 Madone. You've got the new Gen 7 with the wild holes in the seat tube and all crazy stuff. Um, hints of something new coming from Trek that we don't really know about just yet. But this bike in 2024 is still super popular among our customers for the reason that it is still a really fast, really stiff race bike. It is so easy to get along with. Bike tech moves at a rate of knots that no one can keep up with. And the price of new bikes at the moment is through the roof. A model like this, yes, it's still got a little bit of cost to it, but compared to the new models, it is a fraction of the cost. And you are still getting a bike that is within two, three percent of the newest model. Trek has ironed out some of the creases from the from this model and the newer model. So some things like they're new on this model, you get these little paint chips here from the fork swinging around and going past the knock block. They've got rid of that now, but on almost all Madones that we see, we have these little marks in it. So it's a little bit annoying things to live with like that on the bike. Um, they have got rid of the Arsa speed system because it does carry a bearing which adds a little bit of weight to the bike. But again, this is an aero race bike. You're not gonna be gonna try to go up in the Alps on this. You're on the flats, you're going fast and it just holds its speed beautifully with things like that. If we come have a look down here, on this bike, you've got your Shimano Altegra shifting and this is the DR2 model. So you've got little motors that sit inside the derailers here hooked up with little wires that sync up to the shifters through the whole system and what that means is with your electronic shifting simple little tap of the button on your shifters here and you get a crisp shift on your derailers the good thing about this is on a mechanical shifting as time goes by you sort of have to fiddle the cables in sometimes as the wear electronics every single time you get a perfect shift it's always going to go into the right gear so much simpler, so much easier, and also a little bit less maintenance on the bike overall. So, in summary, on this bike, um, like I said in the beginning, they're quite popular, but who is this bike actually for? Um, it's quite unique in the sense that because you've got quite a bit of front-end adjustability on this bike, 
you could run it for a bit more relaxed person but ultimately it is someone who is looking for a fast ride something that is a little stiffer is going to cut through the wind and you're looking just to get that little bit of an edge on your rides again with the dr2 this is a slightly higher spec model you've got the carbon rims on it already this is a race ready bike as it is out the box but at the same time there are small tweaks that you could take it to be an absolute uber bike if you really wanted to build it that way so at the end of the day there's a reason this is one of our most popular bikes it is because they are much loved they are super versatile and because they are just great bikes to get on have fun on and go fast don't forget guys that if you are looking for something like this we get these often on our website you can find it on cycleexchange.co.uk this one probably won't be around long but always keep an eye out because we've got some, some more stuff coming through for you if you've enjoyed this video want to see some more don't forget to subscribe to the channel if there's something that you think is really cool about this bike leave us a comment let's see what you have to say and I'll leave you with this beautiful free hub noise until next time.